campus with his coach, Keith Etheridge, who's a good friend of Average Joe's with the coaching show with Coach Lashley when he was in Oxford High School. Coach, just want to kind of catch up with you. I know we're on the eve of another football season, but uh, from the time you arrived here to now, what's it been like here at Auburn? Uh, it's been great, you know, great leadership here. Your principal, Dr. Pinato, is awesome. Superintendent, Dr. Herring, is unbelievable. Athletic director, Coach Norton is great. So, a lot of great people in place here, uh, a lot of great leaders. Even our, thank you for our city, you know, the mayor, Ron Anders, has been very involved, very, very supportive, you know. So, everybody's very supportive around here, and, you know, Auburn's a great place to be. Uh, Coach, this place is very special, I and mean, obviously with our university here, uh, this high school obviously is very competitive, very well known statewide. Uh, what was it exactly that, that kind of drew you here? I know um, besides the tremendous amount of athletic athletes they have at the school, but uh, they have the other reasons as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, Auburn's one of the best school systems in, in the state, you know, it, uh, probably in top as anywhere, you know, um, got great like I said, leadership here, great teachers. I think we just now, the teacher of the year was just named for the state of Alabama, Auburn City School That's teacher. Um, so, you know, great education, you know, great place to live. Um, you know, they really, really are, are behind the football program, behind all the athletics here. That girls basketball, boys basketball was in the final four last year. Boys baseball won, it, won the state championship. You know, softball did great, you know, so, I'm bringing my kid in uh, football playing in the state championship, so I'm bringing my kids into a situation that's, you know, we've got some successful programs and and um, we're excited to be here. And that was the next question, how's the family doing? As we, you know, we yeah. have houses on Friday Night Wise, and yeah. Cam's been on several times. How's everything going with the transition? It's going great. You know, um, Allison's over at Drake Middle School. She's teaching math, doing her thing, you know, as always. Uh, uh, then you got Camden, who's a senior this year. He's had some great, uh, great passing camps, great summer, you know, great at camp. So, you know, just got his ACT score and got a 31 on his ACT. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, he's, he's doing well, fitting in well here. Um, uh, Mackenzie's doing great. She's ninth grader. So, she's getting ready, cranked up for softball tryouts and stuff. So, we're, we're excited to be here. Man, she's coming into a very, very good place as well. Yes. Um, now, Coach, let me ask you a question. Uh, uh, Cam's going to be coached by a very familiar face on the side of the ball. <laughs> yeah. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, uh, he was that fortunate enough to get Coach Wagner down here. And uh, Cam loves Coach Wagner. You know, he probably listens to him more than he listens to me. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I, I, I stay on him pretty hard, so I tell Coach Wagner, you really have to coach him. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, but we got Coach Chaney also here, Coach Parnell's here. Coach Stanford's here. So we have a, a good group of guys that he already has relationships with. And the guys that have on staff they had on staff here, you know, are tremendous. You know, they're great football coaches, great people, you know, uh, the kind of people you want your kids to be around. What was your initial message to this group of guys coming in? I know they had a heartbreaking season last year and uh, made a very deep run all the state championship game. But what was your initial message to these guys? Well, uh, just, you know, we're gonna leave the past in the past. We're gonna fight fight for the future, you know, we're going to take on a blue collar mentality. Matter of fact, that's sort of our motto this year, blue collar mentality. We're going to work for everything we get. And then in the end, you know, if, if, if we don't come out on top, it ain't going to be because we didn't work harder than anybody else. Um, you know, I, I understand what happened to them last year. You know, everybody, everybody knows, but you know, that can happen to anybody. You know, it's just a series of events that that led led to the end you know and uh you know you're gonna win some you're gonna lose some you know um they haven't won a state championship here in football yet you know we're hoping to put that first blue map in that trophy case man that would be something special there especially you'd have one in three different classifications that would be four yeah three four and six so uh, be four that'd be pretty special yeah it'd be real nice <laughs> uh, now here's another thing coach for people who have not visited this facility yeah um you and i walked by multiple right. weight rooms with right. two over 100 yard practice fields here talk about yeah. what you guys have it's, it's unbelievable. You know, we got a turf room downstairs in case it rains. We can go in there and do our inside drills and things like that. Um, you know, they they really take their athletics serious. They take their academics serious. You know, it, it educating kids is serious here at all. And, and I think that they understand that every aspect goes into it, the athletic part, 
the academic part, you know. So I wanted to say that there was is is some unreal amount of scholarship like last year. I think it's over ten million or fourteen million in scholarship money that was given out with all the kids last year. So I mean, it is unbelievable the opportunities that are here. You know, so I'm 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 just glad to be here, glad to have my kids here, my family here. And um, but yeah, I mean the facilities are unreal. You walk into a coach's office, you know, it's a it's forty about forty 20, 30 yards probably of coach's desk and stuff. And then you get to this office, which is my office. And, um, you know, it's a pretty spacious office yeah. and every room has a big flat screen TV on the wall where we can watch film and connect our computers and, you know, and get all the stuff done for the day. Um, you know, you have multiple meeting rooms, you have multiple weight rooms, you have a cardio room, you have an equipment room, a huge equipment room. You have, I mean, uh, a huge training room. So, I mean, they, like I said, they scholars. It is. is. I mean, it's like a college program and, you know, the, 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 the gym is un unreal. And, you know, it, it's this whole building in this wing is the athletic building. You know, this is the athletic department, this whole building upstairs and downstairs. Of course, you have the, the um, lunchroom connected to this building also. But this is basically an athletic facility here. You have to feed the athletes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, before we shut this down, let's yeah. dive into this team specifically. Mm -hmm. what, what are some of the things you think you can hang your hat on with this team just from what you've seen? Some of the things you think you got to kind of work on a little bit to them now Well, I think everybody knows what we're going to be pretty good up front. You know, um, we start with our center. You got Joe Frazier, who's a kid that started for him last year at guard. You know, you got Avery, Avery Ferris. And a kid named Eric that that started at, at guards last year. Eric didn't play last year because of the COVID stuff. He's back this year. Um, he was virtual last year. He's back this year. He'd be a junior. Um, so he is a great football player. And then you got Drew Bobo at one tackle, who's an SEC kid. And you also have uh, uh, Easton Harris at the other tackle, EJ, you know, who's also an SEC kid. So, I mean, you got a lot of meat up there. You got a, a great group of guys, and you have Charles and, and Chase and all the Will and about four or five other ones that can come in and play and give you give you minutes, you know, and and are real good football players, sophomores and juniors, you know. So, really excited about that group, and of course on the defensive front side, we're going to be real good too. It's it's some battles out there at practice, and, oh, and they're ready to hit somebody else instead of hitting <laughs> each other. But you got Powell Gordon who you have to talk about, the Auburn commit, playing defensive end and backing up playing some linebackers some too. On the other side, you got Jimmy Bickerstaff um, at the three technique right now. You got uh, Braden Joyner, who his move over to the defensive side has made us a lot better. But you will see him play on the offensive side too. You throw him in there with all those other guys on that offensive front and it's, it's nasty. Um, you also have Pitts who will play that three technique. You have Jordan who will play the one technique, and, and Malik Mason is a kid who, you know, his mom and dad are both uh, chefs and are working at culinary school down here. And, That's awesome. you know, he just moved in from Virginia, and, you know, he's a kid that has offers to Maryland, uh, Memphis, places like that. He's about a 6'5", 300-pound kid, and one, was one of the top players in Virginia. You know, that linebacker, you got, you know, Brad Harper, who's a great football player, has multiple offers. You got Clark Cleveland. You got um, Granberry, and then you know you got Cole, who can also play over there, and you also have Weak Fall. There's some more guys who who you're sprinkling out there that are younger guys and who can play that position in the secondary. We're strong. You got you know you got um, Carson Yancey, who's a kid that's a full four kid, and you know can really really play. Started for him last year. Nazir Pogue is Alpo's son that that was the D base coach at Auburn. Now he's at, at Troy, you know, um, he's a 6'3 corner. So, and then you have Trey Nams, who is a solid, solid safety. And you also have um, a couple other guys playing that other safety. You have King, you have Graham, you have, I mean, uh, Dooley. You, and, and Dooley's one of those kids who can play multiple places. So, Swiss um, Army. Yeah, Swiss Army guy. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, no, yeah, we, have, we do. We have depth. Um, quarterback position, we got Clyde. You know, uh, Clyde Pittman is a junior. 
he'll probably get the start. You know, him and Davis has been battling it out this summer. Uh, Davis Harson, of course, Coach Harson's son, you know, uh, the Auburn University's head coach, he is a going to be an unbelievable talent. You know, he's just 15 years old, and he's pushing. He was pushing for a starting position. Um, yeah, absolutely. And Clyde, Clyde's another kid. He's a young kid, but you know, he's he's uh, another kid that's you know be a junior who's who's really done a great job back there for us. And then at running back, you got about four or five kids. Um, Massey. Um, we call him Duke, he's Woods. <laughs> if I call him Woods, he won't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then D V, you know, uh those are, and then we got a younger kid named Flakes who's gonna be electric when he get when he gets up there and, and another kid named Griffin. So we got a lot of a lot of people there. Receivers, you know, of course you got Cam who's had a big summer and he'll be a tight end slash, he'll be a tight end slash the Swiss Army knife yeah. guy. You may see him wide out some, you may see you know, he's used his body so. well, H back some, yep. Um, you'll have a, a kid named VJ. Um, VJ is a phenomenal athlete. He's a kid that could be over a thousand, fifteen hundred yard kid this year. Can really go get it. Um, Marcellus, who's a who's a great great route runner and does a good job of catching the ball. And then you have um, also Corey Daly, who's a, who's a kid that I'm very familiar with because he's played for me in the past. You know, he's a kid that was a five hundred yard receiver last year as a junior. Who's going to be uh, big for us this year. And wow, what Who's a three sport athlete? Football, yeah. basketball, and track. Oh, yes. 23 foot jump, long jumper in track. 23 foot? Yeah, 22 eight. About halfway this coach's Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man, what I'm hearing though is like depth yes. across the board. Have you ever had? team we had too much depth like they so I mean like it's hard to pick some of these it is it, and it's you know the, the thing is everybody's ready to play everybody wants to play so you know some of these young guys who are, who are real good players you know it helps sometimes they got to wait their turn you know we'll be real good in that JV group because we have those young guys sitting there waiting but uh um when they get their opportunity I think they'll make the most out of it and and we have we have good depth. Yeah, I mean, we have 160 plus kids that are are dressing out and practicing. Nice. You know, and that's the 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. You know, our ninth grade has 90 kids on it. Our eighth grade has over almost 100 kids on it, and our seventh grade has 75 kids on it. So, I mean, that's a lot of kids in the football program. Man, so, how do you feed all these guys? <laughs> that's a good question. Getting a lot of good fundraisers. <laughs> Coach, I know you got to teach a class today. You, um, you've had prior arrangements. I don't want to hold you up, but good catching up with you. We'll, we'll probably be calling down here catching in with you uh, throughout the season. Come on, man. It's great to see you. How you great doing? to see you. Coach, thank you so much, and we'll be see